What's up guys? Welcome back to Mike's Universe. Today we're going to talk about 13 easter eggs you missed in Frozen 2. The sisters and sidekicks from Frozen reconvene for another adventure with storms of feelings and all new songs. Since its release, the animated sequel to Disney's biggest animated feature has made over 700 million dollars worldwide. Frozen 2 continues in the same non-threatening, lively plot jumping to life when Elsa responds to this mysterious siren call. As is true, often in animation, Frozen 2 soars to the highest when it embraces its abstraction, also its easter eggs. Let's dive right in. The first four easter eggs are hidden in the scene where Anna and Elsa play Enchanted Forest. As Elsa moves the little ice figures, we see some familiar faces, like Baymax from Big Hero 6. Hello, I am Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. And if you look a little closer, you can also spot Bolt. What's that? Even closer with those big ears, it's Dumbo. Last but not least, anyone can guess who's the mysterious princess in white snow? Well, I hope you guess Snow White. <laughs> See what I did there? Snow White, princess in white snow. Anyways, Olaf is everyone's favorite little snowman. Almost as popular as Frosty the snowman. Sorry, Frosty, it's true. In the scene, Olaf and Anna sure look cozy on this very familiar blanket which is the same blanket from the original movie in the song, In Summer. This is a Disney movie, so it wouldn't be complete without the king of Disney, Mickey Mouse. While playing charades, Olaf strikes a pose as Mickey Mouse, and Kristoff guesses it correct, of course. <laughs> Ever wonder what that probing call to Elsa is or where it comes from? Well, here it is. The call Elsa hears is called a culling. It's a traditional scanning curtain call, and it's really beautiful. If I was part of the production art direction of a movie with such great animations, of course I'd want to include myself in the movie too. The wooden figures in the town are styled in the likeness of the production designer Michael Guillermo and the art director of environments David Wormsley. The big climax of the movie is where the sisters learn a little bit more about their mother's past. As Elsa relives their parents meeting up, Iduna asks about a book His Majesty is reading and he says it's a new Danish author. If you look at the book cover, you can spot Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And that new mystery Danish author is actually Hans Christian, who is actually Danish and actually wrote The Little Mermaid. Guess what else he wrote? The Snow Queen, the fairy tale Frozen was based on. And you probably knew this from the first movie, but Christian Andersen was the inspiration for the names Kristoff, Anna, and Sven. What would Frozen be without its musical scenes, dance numbers, and meanings behind them? When Kristoff performs Lost in the Woods, he actually gave us all a flashback to the 70s and 80s music. And lastly, number 13. After Olaf recounts his tales, you can see Marshmallow and the Snowies captivated. Marshmallow is the snow monster from the original movie which Elsa created to keep everyone from getting in. On top of Marshmallow's head is a crown that looks eerily similar to the one that Elsa abandoned and Marshmallow picked up at the end of the Frozen movie. Looks like he's the queen now. Well guys, that's all for today. What do you guys think? What were your favorite Easter eggs? And do you consider Marshmallow your new favorite princess? Comment your thoughts below. If you're new here and enjoying our content, go ahead and like and subscribe. And click that bell notification to stay tuned into our universe. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.